so I'm Fiona and I'm a research assistant in Science Gallery Dublin and I came here today really excited to hear new ideas and see some incredible people. I think Ada Yonath was really inspirational and seeing the journey of her career was really inspiring and I'm so happy to be here. Yeah, so I'm, I'm Emma Cahill, I'm from the Department of Physiology, Development and Neuroscience in Cambridge. And I'm Amy Milton, I'm from the Department of Psychology at the University of Cambridge. So the takeaway from today was our favourite talk. I really enjoyed Daniel Dennett's talk. Um, I could have listened to him for another hour. I guess everyone's saying that though. <laughs> yeah, it was amazing. It was very engaging and really interesting to see how philosopher approaches problems in neuroscience. It's just a very different perspective, but I felt like it, it gave a lot of insight. Yeah. Um, but there's been so many good talks today. It's been, it's, yeah. Yeah. It's really hard to say what's been. I think it's really hard as well when you come from like because we work in psychology and neuroscience. There's been a lot of that today, and you kind of you want to go deeper into it. You want to ask questions, but then at the same time, it's brilliant because it's an overview, and you see the real trends and the real things that are driving forward everything that's happening in the field. So I think this. The overall feeling of the meeting is yeah. complete. There's so much to take, there's so yeah. much to take, so many things to think about. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, I'm Stephen Mahler. I'm a assistant professor of neurobiology and behavior at the University of California, Irvine. And I think my favorite talk was the keynote address, the Daniel Dennett talk, who's been uh, kind of a very influential thinker, a uh, person that shaped my thinking about how the brain works, how it came, where it came from, um, evolutionarily speaking, and um, many other things as well. And I thought he put together a really nice synthesis, particularly apparently since last night, um, of, uh, of a lot of the issues that we discuss at this conference uh, more generally. And I think that the, my favorite thing of this conference so far, it being half over only, is the interdisciplinary nature, which really comes, I think, from the topic and the title and, and Schrodinger himself, uh, who is as a physicist writing about biology, which is a pretty bold move. And uh, I think he had, obviously, as we heard all day today, um, many and very insightful things to say that we are still talking about 75 years later, which is a pretty impressive accomplishment. So, happy to be in Dublin here. Um, my name is Clifton. I'm a third year undergrad do, uh, doing genetics next year in UCD, uh, UCD University College Dublin. Uh, the conference is phenomenal. Like the speakers were like beyond expectation. Uh, my favorite speakers were probably it was between Bet Shapiro and K Tai because the sort of inspirational way they speak about what they're researching is very. Addictive and very sort of, uh, it kind of gets me going as well that I want to get into somewhere, something, I want to be like them sort of thing. That's kind of one of my biggest things that I got from the conference. But the rest of the speakers as well, what they were researching and how they think was quite inspirational as well. So, my name is Shane Houston, I'm from Queens, Belfast, and I'm studying a PhD in plant biotech and molecular biology. And I'm done for the day. Um, yeah, my favourite talk I think was the future of medicine, I think, because the guy actually sequenced his own genome and found out he had a deficiency in vitamin C uptake, I think, or D, and he knew he had to megadose that, which is very interesting. It's like probably the future of supplements. Mm -hmm. uh, and also the AI talk, didn't mention much about biology, but it's really cool to find out the you know, one-on-one on yeah, yeah, it's been really good day. My name is Daniel, and I was uh, I'm a computer science student in my fourth year, but I'm quite interested in consciousness and things like that. Uh, so yeah, I just spent the past two days at this conference, and it was really exciting. Um, as someone who needs to like figure out where, like, what type of thing they want to go, where they want to go into research or uh, in the industry, it was pretty enlightening to see like the top people in this field come and show the exciting stuff that they're doing. Um, so yeah, no, my interest in computer science in my field is like artificial intelligence, so it was nice to see that represented here at the talks by uh, the, I forget what his name was, but he uh, was involved with the Ex Machina film. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and, uh, but I mean, what, what interested me more was the stuff that I wasn't really so aware of, so the things like gene editing with CRISPR were just like mind-blowing, things like molecular biology, it's crazy to see how much that stuff's progressed, it's basically science fiction at this point, so. I really like that stuff, and it's about the future of life, so they're telling us, you know, it really got you thinking about the future, and a lot of people remember to 
address the young people in the audience, which was nice. They're telling us to get involved. Joana Xavier, I'm from uh, Portugal originally. I work in Germany in Heinrich Fein University in Düsseldorf. And I'm super flabbergasted with this conference. It was probably the most inspiring event that I've been to. Yeah. It was incredible, incredible. Did you have a favorite talk? This last one, the future of consciousness. Although several, they were fantastic, fantastic, really.